nicely done. Welcome. I love this. This is gorgeous. We were not here. Well, there you go. We're not here to talk about clothes. Who wrote that song? Uh, Holland Dozier in Holland? That's right. You got it. You know, I, I'm saying to myself, four is tops. that? Yeah, it was a four top song. How come you did that? Well, I was doing it live in a club, and they liked it, and I said, I better do something they like on this record. <laughs> That's where you, you started working in clubs, did you not? I mean, that was... Well, yes and no. I came out when I was 15 to California and signed with a producer who was also working with... How did he find you? Uh, through a publisher at Screen Gems Music. All right, I interrupted you there, and I did it on purpose, because I want to meet these guys okay. first. Right. Then we're going to talk about the guy you met. Who is this gentleman over here? Robert Akers Terry. Robert, nice to have you with us, sir. Thank you very much. On drums in the back. This is George Pirelli, the Italian stallion. <laughs> the Italian stallion. Aha! There he is. Yes, on bass. On bass, our German dream boy, Lothar Struff. Thank you, sir, very much. This is an international group we've gathered here. And, and on our, keyboard. Our wild man, Jeff Lieb. Thank you, Jeff, very much. Now, I interrupted you at that moment when the, the producer found you in a club, and he also had another talent that he worked with. Who was he, that person, that he was fella? A little teenager named Mike McDonald. Michael McDonald of the Doobie Brothers. That's now, right. this developed a long term artistic relationship. And lo and behold, lo, 20 minutes ago when you arrived here, McDonald is standing at the back door like a stage door Johnny, like a male groupie with roses in his hand and a whole entourage. Does he follow, does he follow you everywhere you go? Not enough, <laughs> but uh, I'm happy about today. No, but I mean, he produced the first album, the second one, right? And he is, you also happen to get married recently? We got married May 21st. So you are happy days. That's, <laughs> I, I want to get that out of the way. Okay, now, <laughs> is it important who helps you make albums, I mean, for instance, how important are the musicians on the date? They're real important yeah. because... What do you get from them other than a good job, they go and get their money well, and leave? There's a lot of guys that play real good and then there's a lot of guys that play real good and have a wonderful attitude and they come in and they're fun and yeah. it's not like, well, what time is it? It's I the, the, the ambience, so, the feel in the air? Yeah. If you like the people you're working with and you have fun, I think the music shows it. Yeah, I think it certainly does in your case and you look like you're enjoying what you're doing.